Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and the things I want to do. And let me tell you what I've got going on for you. We're going to make some oyster stew. Yeah, now uh, I'm from Louisiana and oyster stew really isn't a big thing down here. Most people that I've met in my life the last 35, 40 years uh, have never heard of oyster stew here in Louisiana. We do a lot of different kinds of oysters. We do oysters Bienville, oysters Rockefeller, oysters uh, char-grilled oysters, uh, char-broiled oysters, which are the same thing, just depends on who you talk to. Um, we do a lot of uh, you know, raw oysters. We love raw oysters. We love oysters, uh, and oyster gumbo and oyster other things, but a lot of people haven't done oyster stew. I think it's sort of a mid-Atlantic up to New England thing, and I think they might make it in the Pacific Northwest as well. Um, but. I learned about it because my stepdad was from the Chesapeake Bay area of Maryland. Now he did live down here in Louisiana. He loved oysters and he would make oyster stew and we'd look forward to it. I'd go to school in those days as a teenager. Nobody had heard of oyster stew where I live. So, and I've talked to several people this week preparing for this video. None of them have heard of, or those, if they have heard of it, they haven't tried it, and certainly none of them have ever made it, okay? In fact, I was talking to a lady today, she says, oh, it's got milk in it. Yeah, it's a cream thing. Uh, some people use half and half, some people use uh, heavy whipping cream. Uh, my stepdad always used whole milk, he said use whole milk, not 2%, okay? And there's a lot of different varieties of oyster stew, you know, it's a comfort food, which means there's as many recipes as there are cooks, you know. Uh, some people put celery in it. Some people put uh, use white onions. Some people use shallots. My stepdad always used green onions. All right, so we use a bunch of green onions. We're going to cut, cut them about right about there. And this is going to get chopped up and sauteed. And this stuff will go in, you know, last. when They'll be chopped up like that, okay? And um, use butter, all right? Um, you can use the red or blue. Big Lou's not going to judge you, all right? I'm using salted, but you use whichever one you want, okay? Um, we're going to use some salt. I got this fancy sea salt, so yeah, I'm going to use that. Now, I don't remember my stepdad ever using that, but I think he just used table salt, but that was the 80s, you know? I'm going to use this, this um, sea salt in this oyster stew, okay? Of course, you, I showed you the milk, I believe. You got to have whole milk, and um, you got to have oysters. Now, I just got through shucking these. I had about 50 of these um, wine gants or wind gants. I'm not sure how to say it. I don't know if it's a long I or, or not. It's W-I-N-N-E, okay, G-A-N-C-E. Wind gants oysters comes from Island Creek Oysters. Got the hat right here. If you watched a couple of my last few videos, you know that I was sent some by who the guy I called the benevolent subscriber. He sends me stuff all the time and uh, he's outed. His name's Gregor, but he sends me stuff from Island Creek Oysters. He's done so um, once or twice a year now for the uh, past several years. And uh, I do really enjoy these New England oysters, a little different than the Gulf oysters we get. These are a smaller oyster and I've got uh, maybe what, three quarters of a pint if you include the liqueur. And uh, you do want to include the liqueur and um, Usually use about half pint in this and a quart of milk. So I'm going to use maybe half of this or so. Just going to kind of eyeball it to see what we got. Okay, let's get to this. All right, got that stick of butter melted. Now I probably don't need this whole stick. A half stick probably would have done, but um, eh, we're going to use a whole stick. All right, this butter's just about to melt. Just about to melt. And as it melts, we're going to dump in the bottom of those, those green onions all cut up. So the white part of the green onions, all right? You know, start sauteing those in the butter. It's a medium kind of heat. You can see it's not sizzling a whole lot. I'm not trying to brown these onions. I'm not trying to um, get anything dark. Just want to get them kind of soft here and I do not want to burn this butter. All right. The butter and the green onions are getting soft and getting all happy together. Time to put in this, um, usually use half a pint of oysters. This is about three quarters of a pint. It's about 40 oysters of these um, Wingate or Wingate. That's W-I-N-E-G-A-N-C-E, Wingants or Wingants oysters. Uh, I had 50. Uh, 10 were lost to predation by the shucker. Yep, uh -huh. they just went in. So these are a small oyster to what I'm used to here in the Gulf South, but um, they are from New England. So I saw one video called this New England um, oyster stew. My stepdad was not from New England. He was from the Chesapeake Bay, but this is how he made it or very close to the way he made it. Of course, I've been doing it for 25 years and he's been dead for over 10. So I can't exactly ask him. Um, I may have some of my own variances in it by now, but this is pretty close to the way he did it. We're going to uh, get those to the edges, start to curl, and we're going to add the milk. 
Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but the edges are just beginning to curl. They're not curled yet, but they're just beginning to curl. And that's about where we want them because I don't want to overcook them. They're going to continue to cook in the milk. But like when we added the cold oysters, it cooled everything down. Now we're going to add in some cold milk. I'm probably going to use about half of this half gallon. So about a quart, maybe a little bit more. Just... Let's go a little bit more. You know, you can make it as thin, as oystery as you want to, or as milky as you want to, depending on what you want. My stepdad always swore by whole milk. He didn't use half and half. He didn't use um, heavy cream. He didn't use 2%. He wouldn't let 2% go into his oyster uh, stew, but we did drink 2% growing up. So anyway, um, we're gonna continue to stir that. And once the oysters get kind of real curled, this is almost done, all right? I mean, it is almost done. We gotta add some uh, black pepper to it, and we're gonna have this oyster stew. I looked at it and added a bit more milk because I had that whole stick of butter. So that's about how much I got left of the half gallon right there. So what, um, a quart and a half? Yeah, so three pints. That's about what's in there for the milk. All right, as this comes to a simmer, I'm gonna add black pepper. It's fine, or, you know what, I want it a little finer than that. So I'm just gonna adjust my, um, it's pretty fine there, but I'm just a little bit finer than that. I like mine really peppery. You, like I said, this is the taste. If you don't like yours quite so peppery, don't put so much pepper. But you know, it's a winter thing. I like that pepper in there. All right, stir that up. These oysters are um, getting good and curled now, so they're getting close to done. Getting real close to done. As this simmers and comes up to a boil, I want to tell you, don't boil it. Just simmer it. When it comes to a raging boil, turn it off. I'm just continuing to stir it. Looking for these um, edges to go ahead and fully curl up so these oysters will be done. Let's see if I can get one in the spoon right here. Getting real close. Getting real, real close right there. You can see that real close. All right, so we're just about done here. All right, the milk is getting frothy. The edges are curling pretty well on these oysters here. You can see that, okay? And uh, this is getting close to done. It's at this stage we wanna test it. We already put the pepper in. Remember the oysters are salty. I use salted butter. Wanna test this and see how much salt I need to put into it, okay? I am gonna be adding the rest of the green onions here in a moment. Yeah. I want more salt. There's salt, but I want more. I'll, you put as much as you want to. So we're gonna add this uh, sea salt here. And uh, I had all that milk, you know? And so I'm gonna add that sea salt and um, stir it in. I might have it too salty now, but this is really good salt. So I don't mind if it's too salty with this stuff. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's starting to boil a little too much. Turn my heat down. All right, and continue to stir in that salt. I'll make another test, taste test, and uh, show you what we do next. All right, I tasted it again. I added just a tad more salt after that. Now you see the edges on those oysters? Yeah, this is uh, this is done, all right? And that milk's getting frothy. Mm -hmm. This oyster stew is done, except there's one more thing we gotta do. Now, you could take this green onion, you need to use it as a garnish. But my stepdad always put it in there. His oyster green onion -y, um, thing gives you something to bite onto. The others are real soft. These are gonna still have a little bit of crunch. Gonna stir them in, okay? And then we're gonna serve this. Just like that. That's our oyster stew. All right, so I'm just take some of it. Get some oysters. Wanna make sure you got oysters. Put it in a bowl like that right there. Look at those oysters. See if I can get me another oyster. I shucked them. I get the oysters, right? Okay. Uh, Gregor, I can't thank you enough for these oysters. Man, this is going to be so good, okay? All right, so look like that. Now, you can't do it without uh, these little oysterette, oyster crackers, whatever. These things were designed for oyster stew. Got to serve it like that. All right. I've already tasted it. I'd had to taste it to get the salt, y'all. But I hadn't tasted it out of this bowl yet. Mm -mm. Yeah. Gregor, I love this hat. I hadn't had a dad cap in a while, and uh, I've only been getting trucker hats since all my hats got ruined in the uh, storm last year. And I got a dad cap. Mm -hmm. I love it. it. Says Island Creek oysters on it. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes me feel like Quint from Jaws. Yeah, remember the old uh, 
Talking about pork, there's Mr. Roddy. Yeah, let's eat this oyster stew. Got this uh, Reaper sauce going. I'm trying not to spill it and lift it up to where the camera is. Hold on just a second, let me get a better grip on this bowl. Should put it on saucer or something. All right, I already got a dropper two in there. You can see it red. Let's get some more in there like that. This Reaper stuff is good, yeah. I'm gonna set it down, put the bottle down. We're gonna taste test it. Look, uh, my stepdad uh, used to make this, green oniony, oystery. I loved it. I saw that there's a lot of different recipes as I watched and prepared for it. I said, that's not what he did. He never put celery in it and never did anything like that. It was just whole milk and butter and oysters and green onions and salt and pepper to taste. And I'd always throw in some Tabasco when I was done. All right, so anyway, there we go. And also got to have those oyster crackers, all right? Got to give them time to soak stuff up too, you know? You got an oyster right there, oyster crackers, got some hot sauce. Oh yeah, that's good. Oyster stew, easy to do. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Hey, I got a picture of my stepdad coming up. Yeah, this picture's from uh, 2008 on Lake Pontchartrain. And um, uh, I do miss him. We used to have a lot of fun and uh, he loved oysters and he loved to make oyster stew. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Gracias por mirar.